When shredding, speed is your friend. It allows you to cut through the crowds, clear all the jumps, and get through those frustrating flat spots. You might not realize it, but the speed comes from snow melting underneath your base and turning it into water. That's right, you're actually sliding on a thin layer of melted snow. This CTP is all about testing the theory, if you heat your base, will it make your board go faster? This is every third Thursday. Chance for us to have some fun in our factory, get creative with board design and materials, just get spontaneous, come up with a theme, and build it. It's every third Thursday. We have our mobile factory in the back of the Forerunner. We're here at Park City, and we're going to build a snowboard on the mountain. Our workshop for the day, this is perfect. Get all our gear. We got materials, a vacuum pump, vacuum bags, everything we need to build this board today. This idea is actually one that we've tried before. A few years ago, we attempted to put a heated wire along the edge, and we intended it to heat up the edge inside the board. The material wasn't quite right, and the heat generated from the opportunity wasn't going to be enough to test. We were a little sad that it didn't work and put the idea back on the shelf. Until now. Last month, Mark came across a new heat film that gets real hot. It's also flat, thin, and can be cut to the exact same size as our snowboard. If we lay it upright, it should heat the board evenly throughout. Let's get to building. These are really high power 22 volt batteries. Right now I'm drilling out the core for some inserts. We're gonna wire the heating element to those inserts so they can power. I'm gonna attach these to our heating element, solder them down, and attach them to the inserts, and then we should be ready for layup. I think we have everything set. We've got our glass, we've got our heating element that's got the wires soldered to it. I've got all the resin out. I've got everything I need. Time to lay up. The thing I'm worried about most right now is that if it gets too hot, all the layers could just de -lamp. Like that, that happens when you base grind a board and it gets too hot, you just pop the base. Let's cut this thing out. I just attached the two connectors, now we can attach the battery and see if it heats up. Whoa, pull that, pull it. <laughs> oh, did something. We just had a pretty intense moment. That piece of film that we have in here is wider than our snowboard. So when we laid the whole thing up and cut it out, those copper strips that you saw when we were laying it in were actually touching the edge. So when Danny and I just attached the battery, the whole thing started to light up. So we had to pull it off real quick, think about it. Danny quickly said, let's cut some notches out to break up the current, because now we have positive and negative. We're gonna try to attach the battery one more time. We got it. Yep, we got, we got spark. We got a heated base. Started at 68, we're at 81. Right now it just feels like a nice warm electric blanket. Not too hot. Oh, it's getting warm though. Board's almost complete. Gonna go down to the local shop, give it a base grind. Just found the local coon shop. There should be a grinder in here. Just finished grinding out the board here at the Renstall Tuning Factory in Park City. Ready to go ride this thing? Absolutely. So we'll check the temp of the base right now. Matt's got a gun, a little infrared heat sensor. What do we got? Looks like we're a nice toasty 23.5 degrees right now. Okay, so this thing's gonna heat up fast because we got two battery packs going. That yeah. feels so nice on the hands. Oh yeah, it's getting, it's getting liquidy. You know? Oh, there we go. It's melting. 129. Whoa, it's going crazy now. It's 140. We're, we're melting wax right now. 140. In the parking lot with this heated base. Today's the perfect day to test out this heated base. It's really cold out, and when we heat the base up, we'll be able to definitely tell if it's faster or slower.
All right, we just took our first run with no batteries, no heat. We're we'll take another run, heat up the base, and see if we get any difference in speed or difference in feel. Oh yeah, it's warm. No, it's totally warm. I'm excited, man. I have, you know, it's just a theory we've been kicking around for a while, and I mean, it might not do anything, or it might completely, you might be able to feel it. It kind of feels faster, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Definitely felt a little faster with the power on. I think, yeah. Really? We put one battery onto the base, got it to about 45 degrees from 25 degrees, and he said it felt faster. We're gonna put two batteries on it now, which gets really hot. We got it to 120 at one point, so he should feel a big difference. Oh, it's, it's going really fast. That's up to 80. 80, we got 120 in the parking lot. Oh yeah, it's actually heating up. Let's put these in your pocket. <laughs> It's for sure faster now, it? yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. That's crazy. You can tell, like, I went into the down flat down box faster and, like, just greased it that time. <laughs> Watching Alex ride it and get all excited, I have to check it out for myself. It feels fast. I like it. It is a little bit faster. It is, it's crazy. The theory's working, like it's faster when it's hot on a cold day. I would say so. It's such a great feeling to take an idea that had defeated us a few years back and make it a reality. It's now time to head back to the Huntington Beach factory and get started on the next project. I'll give you a hint. This board, you can scratch all you want. Our goal in this episode is to revelize, revelize. <laughs> Our goal in this episode is to Oh man, there's a lot of words in here. Basically, I'll figure it out later.